In this video, I'll demonstrate the easy to use interface of the eLearning authoring tool. In this window, this is what you see when you open up a new course with the authoring tool. You can pull down the main menu and access the file functions, new, open, save, save as, and so on. Across the top is the ribbon bar where you access the major functions of the authoring tool. On the left hand side is the course structure. So far we haven't added any pages to the course. And on the right hand side is where you set attributes, where you control behavior of the course and its individual pages, and also add content to the course. So for instance, if I wanted to change the name of the course, I just simply uh, type it in. I could add a description, decide to change the passing score, decide to show or hide links that include glossary, resources, and help. If I want to uh, add a page to the course, um, I can name that page. Well, let's call this one Introduction. And uh, if I wanted to change the uh, contents of the course, I have a built-in HTML editor. The HTML editor can uh, build in rich text, um, have all kinds of word processor capabilities, bold, italics, underline, and so on. I can add tables to it. I can have different styles. I can also add images to the uh, to this file. I can add uh, audio, video, and so on. Um, so it's very easy to be able to modify the contents of a course. Uh, once I uh, save the course, I can launch it at any time. And uh, when I launch the course, it's going to pop up in a browser window. And uh, here we see the course uh, with the name of the course. I just have one page so far that I decide to call introduction and the uh, text, text and graphics content of that one page that I created. Uh, say I go back and I want to add some new pages and uh, save it and launch the course again. Um, you can immediately see that the new pages showed, uh, have shown up when I launch the course. Pages have a uh, sense of type. So for instance, the uh, first page that we edited uh, was an information type page. Uh, I could have other pages, uh, for instance, individual questions on pages, true, false, multiple choice, matching. I can create quizzes, uh, tests, and summaries. Uh, here, if I create a quiz, now when I get to edit the page content, I'm editing a quiz. Um, quizzes have question pools, and quizzes have individual questions. Uh, so for instance, uh, I'm going to uh, create a true-false question. Uh, here the answer is true. I can give some optional feedback. So I now have created a quiz with one question. Uh, maybe I want to add a second question. Um, and when I save the course and now launch it, uh, then you'll see that I've uh, created a course. I have a few pages in it. Uh, again, the first page is that information type page. Here's a quiz type page. I had a couple questions to find in it. And here the first question was uh, true with its uh, standard feedback. So you can see very quickly the eLearning authoring tool uh, provides a, a nice user interface. It lets you create courses very easily by creating the structure on the left. You can choose to indent that to any level. And uh, then on the right-hand side, you're controlling the behavior of the individual pages and also the content of the pages. View the rest of the demos to see some of the other features of the eLearning authoring tool.